Hey everyone, it's your girl Miss Brown Kelly and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute since I put a video out. I've been doing a little traveling, visiting my family and yeah, but let's get into this video. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, why don't you go ahead and do so. So let's talk about these Georgia peaches. This was a very good episode, I must admit. Um, <clears throat> where do we begin? Let's start with Candy and Todd. So, Candy and Todd. Todd has all these adventures he wants to create. He wants to open up all these businesses. And I'm like, Candy, you know, it takes money to make money. So, we're investing all this money into the uh, the building. They bought the loan building, the bank building. And now he wants to turn it to a Mexican restaurant. He bought the what was it the camper the trailer and i guess that's going to be um like a food stand truck type of uh business and it was something else that they purchased so it's like they're going to open up three new businesses and i'm like candy the concern is this you know we're pouring out money and since nothing is open yet we haven't been able to um reap any benefits of this business so yeah you know that is a red flag you know like hey we want to uh, start making a profit soon, okay? So, that's a concern. That's, anybody would have that concern in opening their business because it takes a while to start making a profit once in once you do any type of business. It usually takes a business a couple of years to start making a profit anyway. So, moving on, we're going to discuss... Um, well, let, wait a minute. Let me help go back. Okay, so I did see Candy's online thing, and she goes further into details on why she feels Todd wants to do this. And I guess because, you know, everybody had the question about, is Todd using Candy for her money? Is he with her for the money? And Candy has this concern about, we have a new baby. So, yeah, we got to tape her down because what if, Stuff, to, you know, you never know how the market's going to be. We can have a bump in the road, and we don't want to overextend ourselves and put ourselves in a financial strain, which is understandable. Uh, and Candy understands the fact that Todd does have, don't want people to think of him as like a gold digging man. So, you know, of course, she's going to be supportive of her husband. So, moving along. We're going to talk about the whole Cynthia and Nene issue, which, of course, you know, you want to find out who, who's the snake in the group. Uh, is it Ivana? Which I think is Ivana. That's who I think it is. But, you know, they asked her first and she says no. So, of course, you're going to ask Marlo because those are the two mutual friends you would first naturally assume. And Marlo's like, no, girl, you know, you know, you really never even told me nothing like that. So, you know, it's not me. And then when you think about it, you're like, okay, that sounds right. No, we never did have that type of conversation. So now the question is, who is it then? Who? Leave a comment below who you think it is. Because I'm really interested too. Like, well, if it's not those two, then who? Who is the little backbiting snake recording people's conversations? Um, <clears throat> so we get to the grand opening which to me was the highlight, but well, one of the highlights of the episode, which I thought was, you know, was good how everything was going. Uh, Cynthia's wine, uh, her new wine company, the grand opening. And I want to talk about Kenya. Kenya is the type of friend you, you really have to question yourself. Do I need this type of friend in my life? Because she did something that really makes you question the friendship. So everybody's having a good time. And Candy at one point was getting ready to leave the party. And um, I'm not sure if I remember this correctly. If it was in the episode or not. Or if I heard Candy saying it from her. Candy online where, where um, uh, was name? Mike asked her, don't, hey, don't go yet. And that was kind of like a hint, like, you know, I'm, I'm going to propose type thing. Or Ken got that impression. So, she kind of texts, um, Ken, you know, like, hey, you need to hear him get here because, you know, you don't want to miss out on this. 
And Kenya spills the bean, you know, she kind of tells Cynthia, I think today's the day he's going to propose. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and that's the, the the reason why I say you want to try, you, you know, you kind of question this like, at what point did you feel that was okay to ruin that surprise, that moment for Cynthia and him? Like, why would you think that was okay? What type of friend would ruin that? You know, why would you take that moment away from them? I, I didn't get that at all. Like, and Kenya has a way of doing little things like that to Cynthia quite a bit. So that's what, that's why I say, you know, Kenya's the type of person that kind of, like, do I really need this person to be my friend? And what am I benefiting from this friendship? Like, that, that will make me really question it. Because Candy is like, you know, I know now, not to tell you anything. Because when she went online, she was saying in depth, like, you know, if, if it's something that's airing on TV, okay, fine. We, we discuss it. But that was like a moment that was not shown being recorded. And I sent you a private text that was not for you to publicly go and tell her on air and stuff like that and ruin that moment for her like why would you do that and then the, i believe it shows her saying um like really like she gets her little touches her arm like really that's what you wanted to speak to her about like why would you ruin that moment for them this man plans this proposal at this event and you and, and cynthia's like well you know my mom's not here you know the family's everybody's not here so no i don't think this is going to be the time and, you know, Kenya's kind of like, yeah, I think, you know, she's like, yeah, kind of, yeah. You know, like, you really, and she's did that before, like, at the at the baby, at the baby birthday party, she kind of, when everybody's like, don't talk about this right now, this is not the moment, she did it then. Like, you always kind of ruin people moments. Why? Why does, why, you, you know, you, you low-key hating like what what is the why are you too old for that you like older than me you really too old to be still behaving that way and i was like wow i can't believe she really really tried to spoil that moment from her take that surprise away from her you know i've had, I've had people do that to me and before like when somebody planned a surprise birthday party for me and they told me about it like why would you tell me about the surprise? Like, why would you ruin that moment, you know? And you, you kind of look at people differently like, hmm. You're kind of low-key jealous, really. Because you, you're doing that to take that, that, that moment. And that man planned that. You know, you could tell because they had the, the heart. It, it was already everything the way it was. Everybody was there. But, um... It was nice. The whole thing was nice. It, um, the proposal, and I liked how he took the girls with him to show them the ring and everything. I thought that was sweet because it is a blended family, and I like to how everybody gets along. And I'm happy for Cynthia because I really never cared for Peter. He just always uh, rubbed me the wrong way. He he kind of always had this little way of making the little comments and, and taking the little stabs at her. Kind of like the way Mark does Kenya. I don't know what's up with that marriage. When they were at the, the three of them were having dinner, I was like, what husband sides with Nene over their wife? Like, why are you taking Nene's side? Um... I don't even see how Kenya and Mark got married, to be honest, because they seem like they're complete opposites. And I know they say opposites attract, but that opposite is like, where is the chemistry at all? You complain, Kenya's constantly complaining about the sex is not there. And I'm saying, this is a, why I can see why sex is not there now, because y'all constantly trying to beat y'all chest, like who, who's the baddest, who's the strongest, who, who, who's got the most testosterone in this relationship? Uh... Kenya was kind of cutting him off every time he was speaking. That was that was kind of rude. Okay, you let him make his point before you rebuke it. You know, you you know, before your rebuttal, let him say what he has to say. Uh, I don't get the point that he was trying to make as 
uh, I think Nini's a good person, even though you guys may not like her. When you know that she's beefing with Cynthia, you know that she said some some disrespectful comments towards your wife. And, you, you know, like, why even bring that up? Like, why even go there instead of just having Kenya's back? Like, what, what what point was that to make? You say she's flashy. Okay. Um, And then Kenya's talking about, okay, but I, I when I said that I was driving the Bentley and, and you wanted to do the house, she said, but my house is paid for. And, and you could clearly tell... They don't agree on how to spend money. Okay, that, that's fine. Because that's how a lot of marriages, that's how most marriages are really. That you're going to, one person may want to, uh, usually one person in marriage may spend money and the other person may not agree about how the money's being spent. But most of the time, those things are kind of discussed prior to marriage and... Not in front of friends like that, which I thought was really weird, and not on a reality show, which I thought was kind of weird too. Like, yeah, I'm really trying to hit below the belt on TV, really. I thought that was kind of weird. Um, the whole proposal, and Kenya's like, Tell me how you proposed to me. That wasn't a proposal, it was more like, I know you want to marry me, so I'm just going to tell you we're going to do this, and, and you agreed, and, and that was, I, I, I wouldn't even want to, I wouldn't even want nobody to know that, really, like, it wasn't romantic, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing to brag about, really, it wasn't, it was kind of, um, it was kind of disrespectful in a, in a sense, like, Okay, we're going to make this official now. So what? 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 Huh? Like, who says that? Who says that when some to someone they want to be with the rest of their life? Like, I didn't get that. Like, why would you even want the ladies to know this is what he said to you? And I felt like I felt like Mark and Kenya kept throwing shade at each other in front of Cynthia and Todd and and. Wasn't it? and Mike and, and Candy and stuff like why why would y'all why are y'all doing this like y'all okay y'all want to have an argument but y'all want to do it now like y'all want reinforcement to back you up nobody's gonna jump into the middle of that. And, you know, the, the the men were like, well, you know, we're going to have our ladies back, you know, like with the whole thing with Nene, like, you know, if, you know, we think Nene's cool and stuff, but we're still going to have our ladies back at the end of the day. If it's all, when it's all said and done, it, we're going to support our women. So, and Mark was not, and I know, I still think she's cool. Like, why you keep beating a dead horse? Like, that was not appropriate it didn't make you come off looking like a good guy. And it was like, you're doing it to piss Kenya off. But y'all really, it was like they were doing little tit for tat stuff, which I thought was crazy. Like, y'all really behaving like this at dinner. So now Kenya's like, yeah, we need, we need a couple more drinks. So, uh, yeah, y'all need to just, yeah, y'all definitely need a couple more drinks. Uh, and, and, and you know he made a little joke about yeah you know, Brooklyn gonna get a little Bronx okay something because I don't know attention maybe that's the problem maybe y'all need to have some more sex y'all need not having no sex and y'all like cause y'all gotta act like that y'all y'all clearly y'all need to go have some makeup sex something just yeah, the anger in the room the tent, it was too tense for y'all but Kenya being Kenya of course she wants to say you know the 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 second best thing was from getting mad or, or winning Miss Universe was the first best thing and then getting married was the second. Okay. Even this is a lesson for women, okay? When you are married, I'm gonna this is for all y'all young ladies because I do see there are some young people in the early 20s that do watch my channel. Learn to lie. Even if that is the truth 
Do not ever tell no man that he is second. Do, do not tell your husband he said you always tell him he is first. He is the best, best lover, best kisser, best everything. Why we don't, don't ever do that? Because Mark, if you if you have not seen this episode, go watch it. And go pause it when you see the look on his face. Like, oh, hmm. That look on his face tells you how the rest of that marriage is going to go for a very long time. If he ever get past that. Because men don't forget. Men are worse than women. They don't forget the little comments you make. They will wait and throw it back up in your face. Every chance they get. They will beat that dead horse until 20, 30 years that you're like, oh my God. Believe me. I have learned the hard way. Don't ever, 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 ever. Now, I've never did, I've never was that stupid. Kenya's just stupid. Because, you know, she want to be Miss Petty all the time. She, that was a stupid mistake that she will live to regret. You barely have sex as it is now, okay? You, she gonna live to regret that. You don't ever tell that. Even if you felt that. Some things you need to learn not to say. And that was one. You should never say that your man was second to anything. To anything. Maybe... Your child, oh, us having the baby, okay, yeah. They can agree to that. Now, if she just said, oh, that was, you know, us having Brooklyn, that was a one, number one marriage to God, one, stuff like that, yes. Even though women, okay, women, yes, men, women's universe, okay, I'm the baddest chick in the universe, yes. Women would understand that. Men, no. No, men are not going to get that. They're not. They're not. They may get, and some men may not even get uh, the baby, to, to be honest with you. They may not even, because you can't compare me to the baby. No, no, I got to come first to everything. I just, if you go back and look at the his face, if you see a rerun, if you have recorded his face, he was pissed. He, brother was pissed. Like, yeah, okay, I got you. Oh, I'm second, huh? Oh, I didn't make you happy. I married you. I didn't make you happy. Because you know in the back of his mind, I know you dated all these men who never married you. Who never did all this stuff I'm doing for you. And I still didn't compare. That's that's what they thinking. So, anyway. Leave your comments below. Like, share this video. And to the next one. Peace.